Vision is behind the making of runners. Welcome to Saturday, the 10th day of April 2021. Our topic today is faith failure when salvation is at stake. The Bible says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourself. It is the gift of God. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. Thought for the day, when a man's faith fails, even the salvation of his soul is at stake. Previously, we saw the tragedy of faith failure. We saw that life is in danger when the failure of faith and victory is never in view, when faith fails. Today, we want to look at another resultant effect of the failure of faith, which is salvation being at risk. When faith, when faith fails. Salvation is at risk. When a man's faith fails, even the salvation of his soul is jeopardized. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. We are saved by grace through faith. And Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says, But without faith it is impossible to please him that please God for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So when faith fails, people cease to believe in the reality of God. When a man's faith fails, his belief in God is automatically affected or attacked. When faith fails, people become indifferent towards God. They begin to ask questions like, is God real? And if he is, why am I facing these difficulties and uh, long-standing challenges in my life? So faith failure leads to spiritual lethargy. People who suffer faith failure may either stop going to church completely or continue to go to church only for formality. So your faith must not fail. The reason why your faith must be alive is not just for the purpose of getting things from God, but for the maintenance of your quality relationship with God. Our point for you to you today is everything that you need to do, everything possible, do it to keep your faith alive. Remember this, when a man's faith fails, even the salvation of his soul is at stake. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment? Number one, go through today's message again. And number two, ensure you avoid anything that can lead to faith failure. Praise the Lord. Pray this after me. Say, oh Lord, deliver me from everything that can make my faith to fail. Help me to go in faith consistently. Oh God, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, before we close, I need to pray with you. If you want to be born again, that is where to start. You are not even saved. So we cannot talk about faith failure being a failure in your salvation. No. Uh, or jeopardizing your salvation. No. You want to have a salvation experience. You want to be born again. Then pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I congratulate you today. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. Wonderful. I'm happy for you and I congratulate you. On this 10th day of April, I pray that the help of the Lord will be made available to you on all sides. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Peace. Thank you.